Hey, welcome back to part four of uh, my journey to my Western Governors University Information Technology degree. So today is Monday, August the 3rd, 2020. Uh, I started my course on August the 1st. And unfortunately, I don't have very good news for you. Uh, I made a fundamental mistake that I'm going to explain to you in a minute. And hopefully uh, this video will stop you from making the same stupid mistake that I did. So let me explain real quick. So uh, first day of my course was, like I say, Saturday. Um, I logged in Saturday afternoon. I went ahead and scheduled my first exam. Uh, it was information to technology. Uh, it was for five o'clock that afternoon. I'd passed the pre-assessment a couple of times and I'd done my study. I'd felt pretty comfortable about it. So anyway, while I was in the enrollment center, I noticed there was a link there for first time users of taking a proctored exam. So I thought, well, that makes sense. I might as well go ahead and uh, check that out, make sure uh, that I'm good to go with my, uh, my equipment. So I clicked on the uh, link there and I got connected to a proctor and uh, they immediately told me that uh, the camera that I was using wasn't going to work. So what that meant was I was thinking I could use my internal camera on my laptop, uh, which you can't. Uh, basically, you have to have an external webcam and it has to be a certain type of a camera as well. So this was frustrating to me because I didn't know this. And I know some of you might be watching this and thinking, well, how the hell didn't you know that? But I, I didn't. Uh, no point did my enrollment counselor or even my mentor tell me this that you needed to get an external camera it is in the documentation uh, i you know i found it in the student handbook but i just didn't see it i feel like an idiot apparently after speaking to my mentor this morning it is in the enrollment that you do online as well that was the thing you do on the 15th of the month and again i, I don't remember I, you know i remember watching the videos and i don't know i feel, like i said i feel like a complete idiot so the bottom line is uh, I hung up the call with the um, proctor. I had a few hours to the exam, so I thought, well, oh, I'll just go and buy one. So I ran down to my local Walmart in town and they didn't have any. They were sold out. So I drove about 10 miles to my next like, local town, uh, checked out their Walmart. They were sold out as well. Uh, I came back to my house, you know, boot up my laptop, started searching online. Staples, Best Buy, Office Max, you know, the usual suspects and none of them have any in stock. And uh, what I found was it was simple, uh, basically because of the ongoing uh, virus, the crisis we're in right now with COVID-19, a lot of people working from home, and I guess they've gone out to the stores and brought them all up. Or the other thing that was explained to me was, you know, because of the increase in laptops having internal cameras, they don't need to sell webcams anymore. So it's a bit of a thing of the past, except I guess if you're studying like us. So frustrating to say the least. Um, on the WG website, it does give you um, the minimum specifications of the camera. You can't just go out and buy some cheap thing. You have to make sure it meets their criteria. And there's a few things you have to have. Uh, on the website, they give you free examples of cameras that they recommend with some links to them. Um, I searched for those and, and basically the quickest I could get one of those here was a week. And I, I don't want to waste a week. So basically, I searched Amazon high and low, and I managed to come up with a camera that I could get here by Monday morning, which is today. Luckily, it did arrive, so I do have that camera now, and I should be ready to move forward. So the, the bottom line is Western Governors University uh, no longer allows you to use internal webcams. This changed, I think, last year. Uh, they used to give you, from what I read in the forums, they used to give you free cameras, and they used to come with your welcome student kit. They don't do that anymore. I think that ended at end of 2019 as well. If you are a returning student and you can use the old camera for sure, they just don't give you new ones anymore. That's your responsibility to purchase one. So I guess my advice to you is uh, if you are going to start your exam, go ahead and order that as soon as possible. But Because for me, I basically had the whole of July where I could have ordered this thing where I was waiting and I didn't. And then I lost the weekend because I couldn't take these exams I wanted to take. So definitely frustrated. But, you know, I guess what it's my own fault. I, I guess I just didn't read the paperwork or... Uh, clearly enough or well, I didn't pay attention I guess live and learn from your mistakes so like I say I feel like an idiot but um, the good news is I've rescheduled the exam for uh, tonight after work so basically in a few hours um, I'm hoping then to go ahead and um, with my new external camera uh, go ahead and pass this first exam but anyway sorry I don't have better news for you I guess it's one of those things hopefully you don't make the same mistake as I did but anyway um my next uh, video will probably be in a few days' time. I'll let you know how these first few exams go. But uh, for now, stay uh, healthy and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye for now.